This is the Oklahoma Sports Podcast presented by OklahomaSports.net. Stay tuned for interviews and information about high school, college, and professional sports around the state of Oklahoma. Now here's your host, Joey McWilliams. And thanks again for stopping by the podcast. Our guest today is Cassidy Jasperson, who is the new head coach of the Broken Arrow Girls Wrestling Program. It's the first of its kind in Oklahoma. Cassidy, congratulations, first off, and and, uh, how does something like this come about? Oh, thank you so much, first of all. And um, it actually came a little out of the blue. I was actually sitting around thinking, what am I going to do? I'm about to graduate. <laughs> I mean, I want to teach. Where do I want to go? You know, I'm not from Oklahoma City, so I want to stay here, go off. And I got a text from Steve Dunn, the athletic director, asking if I was interested in starting a women, the first girls varsity wrestling program in Oklahoma. So I want to come take this. I said, um... Yeah, this sounds like the exact dream job I'm looking for. I, I think this is a sign. <laughs> and so I, I went out there a few weeks later, and it was just amazing. I mean, from the second I walked in the doors, I felt right at home. Steve Dunn, Coach Jones, um, Melinda Knight, they were just so amazing, so welcoming. Their facilities are great, and they have proven to invest in wrestling, which just makes me feel even better about it because a lot of places, you know, back in Texas or – places I've been they don't and so just seeing that and see the investment they put in in wrestling as a whole really made me feel great about it that is just fantastic and it sounds like it is going to be a great fit well you're an elementary education major and so I I imagine as you said teaching was a goal was coaching ever in the back of your mind anywhere you know it was and part of me was like I want to teach but I wasn't sure with an elementary education degree what my options were, you know, was I going to be a club coach? You know, if I wanted to coach for maybe go back and coach for Team Texas, which I was I was on that team and I loved traveling with Team Texas. Um, but I wasn't sure. And once I um, met Steve Dunn and such, I, I told him, you know, I'm, now, I'm certified to teach elementary education. But I really want, my goal originally was to teach special education. Unfortunately, at OCU, they don't provide that degree. But that was my goal. And so I said, eventually, I might want to work towards my master's because that's my dream job. He said, oh, well, we have options to teach special education. you certified, and you can teach at whatever level you want. So while I could be a coach, there's so many options. If I want to teach special education at the high school level, elementary level, and really, I mean, the, the options are endless. So just him saying that and saying all the um the different opportunities that they provided really kind of got me thinking outside the box, not just I'm going to be an elementary education teacher, thinking, what more can I do, you know? <laughs> exactly. This sounds so good <laughs> for you, and, and uh, just I'm, I'm excited for the opportunity that's there. I'm speaking now with Cassidy Jasperson, a five-time All-American at Oklahoma City University in the Women's College Wrestling Program there. You got third place this year in the NAI tournament, which is the inaugural year for the NAI Invitational National Tournament. It's the only national organization that recognizes women's college wrestling as a, a sport. So congratulations again for another All-American year, and, and how was your season this year? Oh, it was it was a great last season. Um, the previous season, I was actually student teaching, so I redshirted, um, and which was great because you know if you know wrestling at all, you know it takes a toll on your body. Uh, <laughs> I, I limp around everywhere, and I'm 22, but um, it was nice to have that kind of break and still work on technique and be involved, but have that break to really get my mind right. And this season, it was all about going out with a bang and having fun and kind of getting back to where when I started wrestling and you were just so excited about it before it became a job, right? I said, I don't want this to be a job ever. You know, this is the best sport in the world. So I said, senior year, I'm just going to go let loose and, and give it my all and I don't want to leave with any regrets no matter if I win a national title, which is obviously the goal, or I All-American or whatever, whatever happens, I don't want to have regrets going forward from this experience from, from all these years here at OCU and all the work I put in. I understand. Well, you know, going into now a job, it wasn't a job when you were competing, but you do actually have the opportunity now to make it a job, So, and I'm sure that's exactly what you want. This is a first-of-its-kind program in Oklahoma, Broken Arrow with a girls' wrestling program. Now, there are 
currently 14 states that sanction girls wrestling with a state championship. And this is a, a sport that over the years, within the last 25 years, has grown from 800 competitors to more than 16,000 in the United States. I, I have a question about that then. I'm sure that Broken Arrow will want to schedule uh, duels and tournaments. Uh, who will you compete against, though, if this is the first of its kind? And I say that because I don't want to say it's the only one because I believe there will be other programs as well that follow suit. Yes, and and with those programs, even if they do start, who knows how many girls are going to have on their team. But uh, Steve Dine and Coach Jones said, we are planning on going out of state for a lot of duels, a lot of tournaments, because if you think about it, Dallas is only, what, three hours away, and they have an insane amount of girls wrestling there. And Plano, all the Plano schools I know are really big on wrestling, Coppell. And so there's a, a ton of opportunities just Dallas area alone. Kansas, Arkansas, I mean, really everywhere around Oklahoma has a ton of women's wrestling. It's just Oklahoma. So, um, uh, but the athletic directors, the coaches, don't see it as a problem at all right now as an issue. They are willing to provide transportation and funds to get us matches. And um, so I'm, I'm really happy about that. And like I said, that I think a ton of, of schools and programs are going to start popping up all around Oklahoma pretty soon. I agree. But it's it's also very nice to know that the school with which you'll be working now is willing to make that investment into you and, and into the program. Oh, I feel honored every day I wake up and think, I can't believe I have the <laughs> honor of providing this opportunity for girls because I was one of those girls in Texas, and they have those programs, you know? And it just baffles me that girls are not able to be provided that opportunity here. Um, well, it's, and, it sounds like love, it's on its way. Even more. It yeah, I mean, I mean, this school, they didn't wait until parents and athletes came to them begging, hey, please, let us, they decided to get a, get a jump on it. But this needs to happen. If we have the means, if we have the facilities, why aren't we providing girls this opportunity? So they decided with amongst themselves to do this. They didn't wait for, for athletes and parents to come to them, which, which I love. And it just shows the investment they have in this program. I mean, Steve Dunn is killing for this program. He's, <laughs> there's so many different facilities and stuff. He's like, you want a room here? What about this, this area for the wrestling room? And I'm like, oh, my goodness, it's, it's a dream, <laughs> to say the least. Speaking now with Cassidy Jasperson, who is the new head coach of the Broken Arrow Girls Wrestling Program, which is just about to get underway in the next academic year. Uh, from Clear Springs High School in League City, Texas, that's a part of the Houston metro area, you had a 42-1 and record your senior year and won a state championship. I think that's pretty impressive in and of itself. I, I have a couple of, of questions about that. One do you think a trip might be involved to the Houston area? Because obviously there's some girls wrestling down there. And and number two, did you compete against girls in all 43 of those matches your senior year? Well, first of all, yes, I'm going to really try to get us down to the Houston area. <laughs> i got to go back and compete against these coaches that were coaching against me, obviously. Exactly. What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> But, uh, but I think that'd be really cool to go to, like, my alma mater and, and compete against them. I think that would be just the coolest experience coming from Oklahoma. Um, but your question was, did I compete against 43 girls before state? Or yeah. before my, uh, my so state through, through your season? senior year, were all of the matches against girls? Yes. Oh, yes, yes. I'm sorry. Uh, so in practice, I, I went, I had my high school practice, and I went to a club. I had a great club coach. I, I really just connected with him my last couple of years, but he is amazing, uh, Joe Forsman. And uh, I still I still attend the club when I go back for to work on my college technique. But I competed against girls. But at club, I wrestled all boys. And even in my high school practices, I would sometimes wrestle boys, sometimes girls, because even though there were girls, um, sometimes, you know, uh, there were more boys, and they were tended to be more advanced because women's wrestling wasn't that big. So I had a great group of guy friends my size, and, and so I practiced mainly with guys, but I did compete against girls. I understand. Well, there are many girls that wrestle within the state of Oklahoma right now, and, and actually I have taught and coached at the high school level uh, in the town in which I live here in Durant, and for a couple of years, one of the girls in my class wrestled with the boys wrestling team and so I know that 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 happens also even on the competitive level here 
Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. And there actually is a girl, Allison Hines, that is at Broken Arrow right now. She has already competed at national level. She is just incredible, just the sweetest girl and the hardest worker. Um, I actually went to a practice with her to kind of meet, you know, meet the coaches, meet her. So coachable, so sweet. She's actually, it's funny, we look like sisters. She's my size, little blonde girl. We compete at the same weight class. I'm thinking, okay, training partner. Um, there you go. But she will be she will be a great uh, leader and, and pioneer for the program because she's been wrestling under the Jones brothers. She's been wrestling against boys for the last few years. So she has that level of intensity. I mean, even me wrestling her, she doesn't stop doesn't matter if I'm taking her down or what I'm doing. <laughs> she's always going because she's used to wrestling those boys that are fast, quick, you know. And so she is going to be a great asset for the program. She's just amazing and a great leader on the team, which, which is great to have that when you're starting a new program. Exactly. And I had read about her, and she'll be a sophomore for you. So what a great way to just, I, I guess, seed your program with someone like that right off the bat. That that has to be also encouraging going in. Well, Casty, I, I want to ask you then, what are your goals then overall, but specifically for the upcoming year? Well, I'm thinking we're going to win some state titles right off the bat. There <laughs> you go. definitely growing in numbers. Uh, I'd like to just have a solid group of girls that are going to come in and work hard every day and have a good attitude and be coachable. That's all a coach that can ask is just come in and work hard. So uh, just get growing in numbers and, and this is an, and starting this program off the, on the right foot and uh, getting a lot of matches, of course. I'm going to really fight for getting a lot of matches, even if that means quite a bit of travel. I mean, that's really where you grow as a wrestler. You, you can practice all you want, but until you start competing and traveling, that's when it really takes you to that next level. Well, I wish you the best, and we will follow you here at oklomasports.net, and we definitely want to keep up with the program. Congratulations, Casty, again, on this new opportunity on the job that sounds like, again, it is just a perfect fit for you, your personality, and uh, your drive and desire to, to get things done. We wish you well in that, and thank you again for taking time with us today on the Oklahoma Sports Podcast. Thank you so much for having me.